Hey, welcome my friends. It's Meredith. I'm here with our message for Friday, the 29th of October, 2021. We'll be using beautiful Bonefire Tarot for our message today and our Oracle cards, as you know. So we're tuning into the energy atmosphere. Be on the lookout for the next playlist of the week ahead for each sign of the Zodiac. Those will be coming out sometime today as well. All right, how are we moving? How are we navigating through the energy atmosphere? What is the primary energy there for us? We have Mystic Healer. Healing energy flows through you. Oh, what a beautiful message. So if there is an energy that requires some fulfillment, some wholeness, the energy atmosphere is charged with bringing that to us. So let's do it. Let's get right into heart center and bring to the atmosphere whatever we feel requires an extra dose of healing energy. Why not, right? <laughs> it's like a spiritual vitamin. Okay, bone fire. Our message today, our first card. Look at that. The sun. Oh, how nice. Love, bliss, happiness. You know it's the happiest card in tarot. It is the pinnacle of joy within the major arcana. So there's great connection, communication. <laughs> I haven't shared this in a while, but I really, I think a meatloaf when I look at this card. I can't help but see him singing Paradise by the Dashboard Lights. <laughs> That's the meatloaf card. <laughs> anyway. Uh, good connection, good communication, brilliant clarity. Did we have the moon in yesterday's reading? I can't quite remember. I sense we did. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm contemplating the moon as I look at the sun. I'm feeling the something out of the unknown that has become known really blossom in the brilliant clarity of the sun. So I feel a little bit of epiphany energy here. I feel really expanded awareness for us with the sun's energy. Let's see what comes with it. Oh, the death card. Whoa. You know, this is a bit like having the death card with the high priestess, but instead of the high priestess, we have the sun. Death and the High Priestess, you know, when they show up together, one is allowing us to see well into the periphery on our foundation, High Priestess, for what is of service, what is current, what is now, and what is no longer mm, useful to us. And it allows us to keep the foundation clear for all that we are in universal co-creation for. Wonderful. So having the death card here gives us that same brilliant clarity that the high priestess does when she accompanies the death card. So we've got the motion, the momentum for keeping the foundation very clear. And then that foundation of ours not only is being flooded with light so that we can see what serves, what no longer serves, and we can have a very keen awareness for our oncoming and our blossoming energies. And then we have, look at this, the King of Cups. That's the healing of the heart card there. I call him the marrying man. Although now he runs a close race with uh, the King of Pentacles. They're both kind of the marrying uh, energy here within the kings at least and uh, anyway king of cups intuition emotionally awake aware alert intelligent intimate this is such oh a heart space fulfilling kind of energy so we have this beautiful divine masculine energy within ourselves. It's, you know, the dials turned way up on our intuition here. And with that divine masculine energy getting a full charge, we feel inclined to take a step, take an action, 
in the direction of the death card, Scorpio. Hello, Scorpio. Uh, because that's a simultaneous ending and a beginning. And it's in the space between, you know, the in-breath, the out-breath, that space in between where we're finding the King of Cups, where we're noticing the supercharged intuition, where we're also noticing where to bring the light on our foundation, where to bring the light within heart space in that in-between area. And that keeps this mystic healing energy alive. So we have two cards that indicate a healing energy for us within the day. So, you know, let's set an intention here. Just right now, take a moment, put your hands over your heart, close your eyes, take a breath, and choose to allow the healing energy on offer to you to bring you the highest and greatest potential outcome. Yeah, and let that go out into the ether. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what's going on behind the scenes. What's going on on the bottom of the deck for us? What are we not so keenly aware of that the universe has well in hand for us? Our first card is, look at that. Talking about foundations, and there's the Four of Wands. There's the 1111 card, the Portal card. And the beauty of this card's presence in the reading is that while this sun is so brilliantly shining on our foundation and the death card is there to sweep away everything we see with brilliant clarity that's no longer of service, the universe is coming in with that four of wands and saying, I will continue to add. I will continue to add the greatest possible happiness to your foundation. And let's also note that we have the sun and the four of wands together in the reading. And these are the two happiest cards there are in tarot. Next we have <laughs> the ace of wands. Now there's the wand that's lit by fire, lit by the sun itself. This is passion, the expression of one's passion. What are you passionate about? What are you desiring to share with the world passionately? creatively what has you lit up on the inside divine and cosmic gift of the ace of wands means that the universe has well in hand what we're passionate about what we desire to create and all the tools and resources required so this is something we can channel to ourselves as we become more keenly aware of the presence of the ace of wands now it may not be dialed way up on high for friday like it is here with the king in our intuition, though this is incoming, this is blossoming for us. And then we have <laughs> the hanged man. How beautiful. A pause in the action, but also more enlightenment. A pause for enlightenment. Typically, we see a bit of a halo on the hanged man, and that is a connection for me to the sun as well. So I feel the presence of the sun two times over within the reading here. And then we have that same sun, as I said, shining on our foundation, our four of wands, happy, joyful, profound foundation. Wow. Excellent. All right. Let's do angel answers. This is your opportunity to ask a question, get confirmation and have a completely unrelated fresh message if you wish. All right, our first card. <laughs> Meditation brings answers. I think we've seen this this week already. Yes, most definitely. A little bit of me time, a little bit of you time, uh, you know, in spiritual solitude. A lot of epiphanies happen there. Our next card, falling out of the deck. Let go. <laughs> this is one of our favorites. Yeah, let go of whatever is clearing off the foundation for you with the death card. It is creating a new beginning, a new opportunity, and a fresh start. Next. Ooh, I love this card. It's becoming one of my favorites. Look for a sign. If you need a sign, ask for a sign. The atmosphere will absolutely charge 
in a way to speak to you with signs and symbols that you understand. So put it out there and then allow it to come back to you. One more. <laughs> Here's a repeat for us too. No need to worry. You know what to do now if this crops up. You validate unconditional love, kindness to self, and then let go. <laughs> Definitely let go. Okay, final thoughts from angels and ancestors. Point of meditation for us. Within the day we have, oh my gosh, the sun again. <laughs> So three references to the sun plus the four of wands within the day. Gosh, Midas touch. That's what I'm sensing right here, right now. All right, everybody have a beautiful Friday. Thank you as always for watching the video, leaving your comments. So appreciated. Do be on the lookout for the next playlist for the week ahead. It will be out shortly. Peace, love, joy, happiness. Namaste.